Hi, welcome back to another Princess Connect video. My name is Lace and God, I have missed saying that. If you guys have been following the channel, I know you've been seeing like a barrage of Alchemy Stars video. I'm just like so hyped for the game. There was just so much to cover. You guys already know and I'm really sorry for that. I hope you guys do not feel neglected because I love Princess Connect. I am not going to be quitting this game anytime soon. So do not fear guys, I am 100% going to be here. I am still covering Precon. It just took me freaking 17 hours to roll for what I wanted in Alchemy Stars. And with that being said, I am back. Today we are talking about the new content update a little bit of a short one actually we've got summer suzume coming in this is kind of like the second half actually no this is the second quarter out of four of this four summer units and so we're going to have a quick look at this we're not going to go through it too much and then we're going to go into like summer suzume herself and so without further ado let's get into the video and we've got summer suzume first up and so as you can see her focus gacha is going to be coming out on june 22nd and it's going to last until july 9th now the more interesting thing about this is that summer kiaru is coming next i'm so sorry summer Suzume. We are all just so excited about Summer Kiaru and so therefore, you know, she's coming at about July 9th to July 10th. Almost there guys, about like a 20 day wait. We are so, so close. However, Summer Suzume, she is cool. There are some like, you know, nice cases where you could definitely use her. But yes, that is what it is. All right, moving on, we have a new furniture set and this is hella sweet. And guys, remember that furniture is limited. So at least like try pick up some, but like that's kind of it. You guys already know the drill. I know so many of you like are into like this kind of furniture stuff and like kind of me too but like not right now. Okay, now this is the interesting one. We have a new dungeon coming out. So this is the dungeon that I've probably been talking about for like two or three months now. And it came out with chapter 14, which is also kind of what I said. So to be able to do this one, you actually need to have cleared main quest 1117. However, I cannot guarantee that you guys will be able to do this one if you are able to clear 1117. This dungeon is actually really hard. So essentially what it looks like, and, and I'm sorry guys, I don't have my Japanese account with me. I've just had to like uninstall, reinstall blue stacks, but like enough of my excuse. I have no excuse. But essentially, we have five floors instead of 10, which is great news. And we've got a boss in the end looking like this Manticore guy. So floors one to four, you guys already know, it's the same as the other ones where you're going to be fighting teams of five girls. However, when we hit floor five, the Manticore, it's going to get a little bit spicy. And the reason it's spicy is because this boss actually features a one hit kill at the end. So as you guys know, when you go into fights, typically you have about one minute 30 to clear it. However, with this boss at about like 125, 128, something like that, you actually get one turn killed. It's just like a really big UB to stop people using like store strats. So if you have been building your clan battle teams, you should be in luck. For the most part, as long as you've got like your clan battle teams up, so I'm talking like your Makotos, your Kauris, your Hiyoris, your Juns, your Miyakos, your Nozomis, all that kind of jazz, as well as a couple of healers, so I'm talking like Yui, Chika, then you should actually be able to clear this one like not painlessly, but like you should be able to comfortably clear it. Not like that friggin' very hard boss summer event that, oh my god, that one is so hard. But yeah, if you have been like focusing on CB, then you should be fine. However, if you haven't been, then you probably should start like looking at them because we are actually not going to be able to one turn kill this guy. I think we're actually going to need like three teams to be able to deal with this guy. So guys, just a quick sneak preview. This was from like freaking many years ago when it was released. So essentially it is exactly the same. Let me just show you guys the structure. It is like that, right? It's a five floor tower. And then you go in the, and then you slam those girls away. That kind of sounds a bit sus, but you get my drift. So let me make this a little bit bigger so you guys can see a little bit better but let's get to the boss itself so over about here maybe and so as you can see we are running like what looks like a CB team so Tamaki another very important one and then as you can see here like I said Chika let's have a look at the other team so this one is featuring Jun, Makoto, Kaori, Tamaki and Chika so let's move forward a bit but before we go anywhere let me show you the one hit kill so this is at 16 seconds 13 seconds we're getting there and we are gonna get one turn killed very very soon there we go whoa that was it. So like I said, guys, five seconds and you guys saw that, that massive lightning, bam, 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 and everybody dies. All right, so let's have a look at the next team comp. I think this guy actually takes four turns to kill him. And the reason is because he wanted to make like four auto comps. Okay, with that being said, let's have a look at the next one. Nozomi, like I said, Mitsuki, Shiori, Suzuna, Yukari, all very, very familiar faces. However, one thing I do want to point out is that they did have level 105. We might still be at level 102 at this point. And so it might be a little bit harder than this. All right, with that being said, let's have a look at this one. It's gonna be the same, same. So I just really want to flick through and show you guys the rest of the comps he uses so that you guys can have like kind of a good idea. All right, so we've got the Cockrow and I think we've got the Magic comp coming up next. You guys already know what it is. Oh baby, this is what I'm talking about. We've got Cockrow tanking out the front, like, you know, our girl out there doing some hard work and this should be a good one. However, let's just go over to the last one and see how that looks. Now, this is a really interesting one because he puts together this team. It features a Reno. It's, it features like a summer
Kama, Mifuyu. There are definitely a lot of other characters that you could use, like Ray, Eriko, like other CB, like other physical defense down units. However, like this is just what he chose to use. And as such, you can see that the boss is almost dead. And then like, I'm pretty sure he has autoed the entire way. So again, guys, I will drop this video down in the description below so you guys can definitely have a look at it. So then the question becomes, if I can't clear the boss, should I still try this one instead of like the very hard one? And the answer is yes, because if you're able to climb up to and finish floor four on this extreme one, then you've actually already earned more coins than if you had finished the very hard dungeon. Easy question there, easy answer. If you can finish up to floor four of extreme, and this applies honestly to all of the next like dungeons that come out, then that is better than like finishing the previous one completely. All right, guys, I think we have spent enough time on that one. So let's move on. We've got the June clan battle coming in. We've got Leo the Lion. If you guys have not checked out my clan battle video, like the preparation video, go have a look at it. It is in my channel. There is a lot going on there. And this one is going to be an interesting one. A lot of burning. And this one starts on June 23rd. And that's interesting because that is also when the normal quest two times also starts. They always do this. They always freaking do this. But like, uh, whatever. It is what it is. You guys already know what it is. Normal quest times two. We've got hard quest times two. I reckon these two are the like very best events that we could possibly get in pre-con. Just so much farming. So much freaking value. So much progression speed up. Alright guys, I've completely like glossed over it because like we have talked about this so many times. I do not want to waste your time and so let's talk about something a little bit different and that is Sama Suzume. Let's have a look at her. Look, she's so cute. Okay, so what exactly is Sama Suzume? I believe she's a midliner. Yep, she is. A, oh no, she's a backline supporter. Never mind. I got that completely wrong. She is a backline supporter. So she is actually a healer. If we hop over to her skills, you're going to be able to see that her Yubi gives physical defense and magic defense and HP regeneration to all allies. Like I've said previously, I do think HP regeneration is like a really great thing. Typically speaking, HP regeneration, like healing over time will heal more than like a sudden burst heal. However, if we're talking about like more in the context of like arena and stuff, which is what like where she would probably be used, then it might be a little bit too slow because you guys already know the meta, right? It's like freaking Ilya's. It's freaking like a lot of like really fast comps. However, I digress. Let's talk about that a little bit later and keep running through this. So again, physical defense, magic defense, HP regenerate. The first thing that comes to mind is arena store comps. This sounds really, really, really annoying. Like really annoying. If I move on to skill one, we've got a summons a petite golem into the frontline position. Now this is a cool one because it's kind of similar to Chica's skill. However, the interesting thing about this summon is that it is actually 200 range in front of her. So this is actually more similar to uh, Shinobu's one because it is at a set distance in front of the character that's summoning it. Chica's one is actually really, really cool because it actually summons it next to the frontmost unit. And so what that means is that that fairy is going to be able to take some of the frontal damage. This golem may not, but that's okay, man. That's okay. All right, and let's go into skill two, which is a magic defense buff to all allies within range centered around the frontmost ally. I don't know what to say, guys. All I can hear is stall, stall, stall. Probably an answer to Ilya, probably an answer to Mage Mel, like a lot of stalling going on. I'm not looking forward to this because like, you know, I've been screwed by like the Misato stall. I am honestly not looking forward to anyone that is going to be using Summer Suzume because I personally have been screwed by all of the, like the Misato stalls. Misato stall is so annoying and I can only imagine how much worse it's going to be when we get this one over here. Okay guys and then let's have a look at the bond level bonus. Magic damage it increases her heals and stuff that's pretty good and then attack pattern she summons her golem straight off and then gives the magic defense to the front line very very fast. So that's quite good because if I remember correctly and I may be remembering this wrong in some circumstances she can get this off before Ilya can get off her UB. However, I don't think it beats the dual TP charge earlier, only the single charge. And so as you can see, a lot of the application for Summer Suzume is going to be in Arena. I know a lot of you are not going to be pulling for her, but it's still good to know like what she does because like if there are people pulling for her, then you can at least know like what to do against her. It's going to be a store comp, but the good thing about Summer Suzume or like from like an enemy point of view is that she does not have a blind. So a lot of counters that I'm thinking of, you know, like I say the blind because like Makoto, Kari, both very frontline. Tamaki, Ninon, Summer Pekarin, there's a lot of characters that get really screwed over by blind. And that's why Maho and Yuki are like so freaking good. So honestly, like outside of Arena, there is like some utility in like CB and in like Luna Tower and like I guess generally in story. And the reason is because like she does kind of act like your Yui or like your Misato. She definitely is going to provide like the heal or the sustain like to actually upkeep your team. Make sure they're topped up and actually pushing through story stages. There are a couple of like niche uses like where her Golem, so if you guys remember, the Golem actually stands in front of her and there's actually a strat for a CB where you actually place that Golem, well you don't get to place it, but the Golem comes out and it actually stands in front of everyone. And then everyone is standing like behind the Golem
golem and if you guys remember minotaur minotaur actually pushes back a unit that unit is going to be the golem if you guys can time it right so there are like small little texts like that here and there but generally speaking you're probably not going to see too much use out of her to be honest i'd be more annoyed to actually find her in arena given that she's probably going to be rolled on less than like the other characters it is a lot less counters or well known counters but for the most part like anti-stall comps like jun kari makoto mitsuki you know stuff like that they should still theoretically tear through those stall comps even featuring suzume but yeah i just realized that i talked a lot about arena but not like her elsewhere and i think like you guys can see right if i kind of make that like comparison to misato and yui it's kind of obvious like where she goes but yeah in a nutshell summer suzume should you pull for her you guys already know the answer is no unfortunately i personally like suzume i like her character a lot however i do not have the jemmies to be throwing at her especially when we have summer kiaru summer tamaki Halloween Shinobu, Halloween Misaki, Christina. We've got so many people coming up and I just can't like risk it for the biscuit. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, in a nutshell, Summer Suzume, she's good. She's decent. She's not the greatest. You shouldn't roll for her. Save for Summer Kiaru and you guys better get her. All right, guys, I think that's kind of it for this video. I think it's going to be a relatively short one because this is kind of like your regular content update. Not too much here that's out of the ordinary. Actually, everything is like within standard except for the new dungeon. Look at that. It's kind of cute. Wait a second. That's the furniture oh i didn't talk about the furniture okay so let's have a look it should be like 40 yep it's 48 maximum stamina full stamina every six hours 24 hours we get 48 it's pretty straightforward okay guys let me have a quick scrub through see if i really miss anything else and it looks like we haven't so let's start to wrap things up here i've got a secret message for you guys easy dungeon and the reason for that secret message is because this ain't an ex dungeon it's not extreme it's easy man i'm probably gonna be like eating my words very very soon but i digress if you guys could drop that down in the comments below i would really appreciate it it lets me know that you guys have made it to the end of the video and i am very grateful for that again guys we are going to be sharing a little bit of real estate with some alchemy stars content i hope you guys are okay with that because i really do like the game as well and i want to cover both games and do not worry i will not drop the ball on precon and <laughs> when when clan battle comes oh my god all right so let's move on with the ending sequence if you guys have kind of enjoyed the video or like it's kind of helped you then like consider a like a sub a comment you guys already know what to do but as always thank you guys so much for watching and i will catch you guys in the next video bye bye